Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 30 second tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to see how we can create layers using CSS and uh, for this tutorial I've created a file called layers.html and inside this document within the body section I have a bunch of div tags and then each div tag has uh, some content you know uh, has an image basically so again I'm using uh, image of my favorite four tennis players Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer Rafael Nadal and Andy Murray and uh, you know we've seen these uh, uh, images used in one of the tutorials in this course earlier uh, but now we are going to illustrate uh, a new uh, property uh, we are going to understand a new concept uh, and we are also going to check out a new property basically so uh, the property that we're going to check out is Z index and uh, it is typed as Z and then a hyphen and index and uh, you know, I haven't uh, created uh, a style section for this document because we want uh, individual style rules to be applied to each of uh, the div tags pairs. So for the first div tag, the position is fixed and uh, I have a margin of 100 pixels from the top and 450 pixels from the left and uh, just ignore the values for Z index for the time being and then for the second uh, bunch of div tags I have a margin of 220 pixels from the top and 280 pixels from the left and so on and so forth uh, you can see that you know I have uh, some top and left margins for the other two sets of div tags as well so when we see this page in the browser uh, assuming that you have the images in your folder uh, the same folder as you have your uh, HTML file this is how it looks so it you know it, it it's uh, a nice looking collage basically you know of the four tennis players and uh, you can see here that Andy Murray's image is uh, on top of Roger Federer's image as well as Rafael Nadal's image and Novak Djokovic's image is over uh, Roger Federer's image but it is under Rafael Nadal's image and Nadal's image is over Djokovic's image but it is under Andy Murray's image and it's also over uh, Federer's image so you know if you want to get this kind of effect in uh, images that you're using or if you have paragraphs of text you could use the Z index property with text as well uh, though what you have to do is you basically have to control the values of Z index so the higher the Z index the more prominent your element is going to be so in this case for Andy Murray I have a Z index of 4 that's why Andy Murray's image is over the images of all the other three tennis players but if suppose uh, you want Novak Djokovic's image to be you know the most prominent then you could give Djokovic's uh, uh, you know the, the div tags corresponding to Novak Djokovic uh, the value 4 for the Z index property and uh, you could just reduce the value for Andy Murray you know you could maybe make it uh, one and if suppose you want Federer, Federer's image to be the second most prominent then you could put a value two for the Z index corresponding to Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal can you know probably have the value three and when I would refresh this page we would see that Djokovic's image is now over Rafa's image it is also over uh, Federer's image and Federer's image is also over uh, Rafa's image that probably you can't make out because you know uh, the pixel or the the place at which Federer's image is starting is the same as uh, where Rafa's image is beginning so you know th these two images are side by side and uh, thus you cannot make a difference here but I hope you've got the point now you know using Z index you could uh, control the um, the uh, positions in a way of your elements uh, so that they can uh, be more prominent or less prominent as compared to the other elements that you have on your page right and uh, this can give you you know some layer kind of an effect uh, on your web 